Hello and welcome to this tutorial I eventually decided to make about how you can make your own 16k night sky boxes for Minimator. The method I'll show you today is completely free. You don't have to register anywhere or install anything, um, but you will need some image um, editor. It can be GIMP is enough or even paint.net, paint whatever. Um, is completely enough because we're only going to move a few pictures around. Um, so yeah, what we want to do is we go to this website here. Actually, the website is only this. I'll put a link into the description. And as soon as you enter the website, you will see this. Um, yeah, and that's basically all we need. Here we have a few options. Um, first of all, for the seed, um, first I'm going to reduce the, uh, the resolution because I wanted to render a little faster. And if we press randomize seed, we'll actually get some other stars, some other nebulas and um, stuff. And we just have to click through these until we find something that um, fits our needs. And then we have here an option for um, view of field and here we can enable and disable a few things. First of all the point stars which are just these tiny stars you can see. Then we have the bright stars which are these bright stars. And then we have the sun which is this thing there. You can see this bright big dot. Um, and we have the uh, nebula which are the colored thingies. So, But we usually want to keep them so we are going to do that. The only thing we are not going to, well, at least I usually don't keep is the sun because this is a night sky texture, so I don't expect there to be a sun. So, um, yeah. What you have to know, though, is that the amount of stars, their size and their brightness um, depends on your resolution. So if I change the resolution, you'll see that the stars got a little smaller. Um, yeah, that's something you have to keep in mind before actually um, choosing a sky texture. And yeah, that's basically it. So before we can save um, the image, there are a few things we want to do. First of all, we want to uncheck unfilled texture. So now we can uh, save every single square individually. And we of course want to go um, for the highest resolution. I'm not going to do that in the tutorial because uh, yeah, Firefox is going to break um, if I'm doing that while recording. So, but yeah, you are sure, sure you can do that. Um, actually, this resolution means that every single square is going to be a 4K texture. So, um, altogether equal to a 16K texture. What you want to do then is you're going to right click on the square and just save it. Save the texture, save the image. And you actually want to name them uh, properly because Minimator is using a special uh, cube map which looks like this. Uh, so we actually got to move um, each square um, according to its uh, position. So this should be the left, that's the front, that's the right, that's the back texture, and this is the bottom and this is the top. So I highly recommend using these names because uh, otherwise you're gonna get really confused. Um, yeah, so when we have our textures, I'm just gonna use these six there from another seed. Um, then what we want to do is we go into GIMP or Paint.net or Photoshop or whatever software you want to use, and we are gonna make a new project, and that's the resolution we are gonna use if we. Uh, used the so if you chose the um, 4k resolution for each single square then this is going to be the resolution you're going to um, use for the whole um, map press ok actually this will take a while to load yeah and i'm actually going to delete the background and what you have to do now is um, just take one of the images, drag it in or open it however you want and then um, move it to the right position. 
which is uh, wait, let me see. Where's my cube map? Here, here, back texture. Yeah, the back texture should be right here in the bottom. So, yeah, zoom in and just place it wherever it has to be. Uh, try to be precise because you otherwise you are going to see a gap and you don't want that. So I'm actually not going to do that with um, every single square because I already have done that. Um, when you're ready, you're just going to export this as a PNG and what you, you should get then is something that looks like this thing. I hope the computer does not crash because, oh, it's there. Um, yeah, something like this uh, should be the result. Um, then actually, just go to Minimator and load it in. The way you do this is you go to Background, you go to Show Custom Image, choose your uh, the file we just made, um, yeah, this thing, and say Skybox. And important is that you select mapped texture. So Minimator use that we knows that we already mapped it. So yes, and that's how it looks like in the end. Um, you see, you just get this extra bit of detail, this tiny bit of depth more than you have with usual 8K sky boxes or other textures. So um, I think that's a really cool website and a really cool method um, to provide high quality sky boxes um, fairly quick. Um, so that's basically it. I hope you could learn something and um, we'll see you next time.